What is going on guys? Matt over at Easy Auto Spa. Today I'm in the office. I'm editing some videos and I came across one that honestly I'd forgotten to share and upload. So I'm going to do so now. Uh, so let's walk you through it. This is a Chevy with a really big fender dent um, that we did 100% with paintless dent repair and the customer could not have been happier. So let's just show you the whole process beginning to end. So here we have this Chevy fender. It is a uh, pretty smashed one. In, uh, to be honest, this is one that the client had gone to a couple of different uh, paintless dent shops and um, was told that they needed a new fender. They even went to a collision center or two and was told they needed a new fender. Um, but uh, we brought it in and I felt like we could we could have really good progress and really good uh, results with it. So uh, like anything this size, typically we're going to start it with glue pulling, which is what we do here. We're using heat and we're using these K-Bar uh, by Kiko and these um, centipede tabs by Kiko as well. Um, tab weld glue is kind of our preferred glue of choice if you're a technician looking at this um, then we uh, we're obviously just shrinking the metal glue if if you don't know this if you're a, a client looking at it what we use this glue this hot glue for it it really does save us a substantial amount of pushing time uh, and it gets the metal moving in the direction we want it to go and that's really the name of the game is trying to kind of reverse that uh, damage um, and so this, this bar that I'm using, I'm leveraging it off the tire and it's it's actually allowing us to control how much we're pulling. Um, we're, we're kind of watching the metal move, we're watching it tighten up. And and by doing so, uh, we're getting it moving in the direction uh, that, it, that it went in. Um, so at this point in the repair, I actually, uh, once we get this tab off, I actually swapped over and started pushing. This is a uh, rod made by Dentcraft with a nice large screw on tip. Um, we pull the fender liner out and uh, stick this tool in. I'm using this as what they call a bumper bag to uh, to leverage off of. And this allows us to go in and let's time lapse this up a little bit, go in and, and um, really push some of the meat of this damage um, without, uh, without overstretching it. And as you can tell, I've got this heat gun set up. Keeping heat on this panel just makes the metal significantly more malleable, makes the paint a lot softer and a lot less likely to uh, crack or stretch uh, and and so heat is really the name of the game both for glue pulling or for pushing for something this large at this point in the repair we're probably about halfway done as you can see here and uh, it's a lot lot flatter there's some crown work still and there's a lot of texture that's these lows uh, and these kind of little push and hammer marks and so we just go back in and do it more uh, and then uh, here is towards the end um, I've got a little buffing to do to get rid of some of these scratches um, but uh, we jumped right ahead to the end for the end, end result. Um, this customer could not have been happier. It, it really did come out really, really well. Uh, this is 100% paintless dent repair. There's absolutely no paint, no Bondo. Uh, it's the original panel. So as you can tell, this one was a really, really good candidate um, for paintless dent repair. Um, this one took about a total of, I wanna say right around two days total. Um, Part of that was just getting distracted with other work um, and it, start to finish if we were not getting calls or distracted on this one it's probably around eight hours of actual push time to get this one done which sounds like a lot it sounds like it's a significantly uh, longer repair than a lot of door dings we do and it is but if you compare that to a collision center and right now if they do recommend a part being swapped at a collision center right now with part shortages this car you know maybe in for two or three weeks it may be in for two or three months if they can't find the part so you know client leaving the car with us and dropping it off for a couple of days getting it back looking absolutely flawless all original paint uh on this one they actually opted not to even go through insurance if they had decided to go through insurance we'd be happy to work with them as, as well on that so if you have any questions feel free to hit us up visit one of our shops we would love to earn your business love to answer any questions visit our website check out some of our resources thanks so much for watching